I'm going to uh, kind of start at verse 10 and read down into this. After Jesus called the crowd to him, he said to them, Hear and understand, it's not what enters the mouth that defiles the person. But what comes out of the mouth, this defiles the person. Then his disciples uh, came and said to him, Do you know that the Pharisees were offended when they heard this statement? But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father did not plant will be uprooted. Leave them alone. You know, the Pharisees, leave them alone. They are blind guides of blind people. If a person who is blind guides another who is blind, both will fall into a pit. Peter said to him, explain the parable to us. Here's Jesus' explanation. In fact, why don't you read it, verse 16. And he said, are you still so dull and unable to put, together, put things together? Do you not understand that whatever goes into the mouth passes into the stomach and is eliminated? Yeah. But whatever word comes out of the mouth comes from the heart, and this is what defiles and dishonors the man. Ooh. For out of the heart comes evil thoughts and plans, murders, adulteries, sexual immoralities, thefts, false testimonies, slanders, verbal abuse, irreverent speech, blasphemy. These are the things which defile and dishonor the man. But eating with ceremony, cer ceremonial, ceremonially unwashed hands does not defile the man. All right, so once again, our Savior is telling you what man is. He is a spirit. He has a soul. He lives in a body. And when he says that uh, these uh, things here come out of the heart, he's saying they come out of the spirit. That means those things have to be placed in the spirit of man. And then they come out. So these uh, things that you read here, evil thoughts and plans, murders, adulteries, sexual immoralities, they come as a result of what's in the spirit of a woman or a spirit of a man. So when you look at the uh, physical body here, here's a physical body, you know, it's a physical body. The physical body is not you. The physical body is the house you live in. You are spirit. You are made in the image of God. God is a spirit. Yeah. So, so think this through. We are made like God. And therefore, that spirit can receive good in it. It can receive bad in it. And we are the gates. When our Savior tells us to set our affections on things above, not on things on the earth, that is putting our spirit man, our heart, into a place to where good things come out of it. You're going to be given over to evil thoughts, mm -hmm. Murder. plans, mm -hmm. murders, all of these things that defile you. Those things don't defile you unless you receive it in your spirit first. Then it defiles you because it comes out your mouth. This is what our Savior is teaching. So anytime you see uh, our Lord giving explanations like this, it gets back to the reality that all men are the same. They are spirits. They live in a body and they have a soul. Some bodies are white color. Some bodies are red color. 
Some bodies are yellow color. Other bodies are brown color. Other bodies are black color. The colors don't matter because the colors are not you. You are spirit. That's what he's teaching them here. So for all of you that kind of think, well, you know, this person's different from the other person, this is different from the other person, stop. And listen to what Jesus is teaching in this passage. That's right. 